Stop you six bitches! I was having a thought. And it's something that I'm sort of struggling with right now myself. And that basically is why humans don't want to properly put the effort in to have a good life. Now let me explain. Since the day that my grandfather died, which is when I was back when I was 17 years old. Now to put it a bit more into context is that my grandparents would give my parents, so my dad's dad and mom would give my parents quite a bit of money to live because welfare was never anything particularly amazing to live off of. There was never enough and blah blah blah. But what I don't understand is that people want to be given stuff consistently without having to put the extra effort into actually getting it. And then if that stream of income stops or if they know something's going to happen, they don't do anything to counteract the inevitable of like, okay, yeah, there's going to be less money in my house because X is going to happen. Well, I should start looking for Y to make sure that I'm still okay. And I struggle with that because over, well, since I was 17 and I'm 29 now, I have given my parents tens of thousands of dollars, basically to make sure that the lights stay on, there's still a roof overhead, that they have food in their belly, shit like that, clean water. Yeah. Um, but there was a time where I could not particularly afford it because I was get, just getting by myself, but anything extra that I had was basically going to my siblings and my parents. But then after a while, like, three, four years ago, I just couldn't do it any longer. I couldn't keep up with my own bills. I couldn't keep feeding them and making sure that their power stayed on. I just couldn't keep doing it. And, that, and like, it made me quite upset that I could no longer help my family in that way. But what makes me even more upset is that they don't care. Is that they don't care that their quality of life is actually lessened so it's like I shouldn't even bother to try and help them because it didn't get them anywhere better in fact it just made them more complacent and more lazy because well there's food in the house oh the power is still on I don't have to, to work for that there's there's um, firewood for the winter oh that's that's that need actually taken care of and basically they just kept living off of welfare, which I'm like, that is such a shitty way of living, of not even really being able to pay your own bills, just barely ever, ever getting by. If it's something else that you need, I guess you're either not taking the garbage to the to the, the, the waste landfill, or you're not eating for a couple meals, or for like half a week, or whatever it is. It just, it, but it's also a lot of humans have that way of looking at the world of like, okay, I'm comfortable. That's, that's terrible. That's a horrible way of, of, of looking at things of like, oh, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm, all my basic needs are met, but not really because the ones around me are the ones that are putting in a lot of that extra money just so things keep rolling along and then to put things on top of that like stuff never particularly got better as time went on it only ever got worse and even now pff, fuck me like like even now Things are probably at its uh, is at its worst than has ever been. Even though the kids are grown up, and like, oh. and it really upsets me that 
had I learned this lesson of, well, they're just not going to give a shit about watching Satellite versus other things, because even when I bought them Satellite for like three years, all I heard was, there's nothing on to watch, there's nothing to do. Well, I guess I should have saved my two and a half grand over that course of time and just said, fuck you, and do what else, like, go outside. Watch the fucking movies that we have hundreds of. There's no reason why, like, there is no reason why they, I should have had to provide entertainment except for I felt sorry for them that they didn't have any other real entertainment. Because, you know, living in the fucking country with no friends because you got a bipolar schizophrenic mother and you're poor as fuck so no one wants to hang out with you. <laughs> and then living in a shitty house, you didn't really get out much. So, yeah, it, it just, it bothers me so much that people just keep taking and taking and taking and have no giving of a, sh of a shit to the actual giver, to how they're feeling, because it's just, well, I need this block of cheese, oh, I need this whatever, and insert pleasantry, but as I look back on the, the shit that my parents would buy it's just like yeah we could have done without that that could have gone to something better that could have been an investment that could have been less complaining that could have been more whatever and it's it's, it's, it's so many people that think like that that I like it's it's like the poor mindset of like there's never enough money and there's nothing I can do to make more it's just the poor mindset and I don't understand why you would ever be comfortable living in a place like what I'm in right now as I grew up as a kid and still continuously not giving a shit but then like me and my brother would constantly work extra and give them extra to make sure that they were taken care of so we can actually go out in the world and do our own shit. And that hasn't really worked out very well. <laughs> no, it has not. In fact, it's worked out very, very poorly. But, this is already uh, like a seven minute video, and uh, I'll continue on rambling in another, another video. So, thanks for all for listening, bitches. <laughs> Later.